Hi, hi everyone, welcome back. It's Karen here from Maiden Secret. Um, I'm actually going to cut some labels out and just show you the extreme I have to go to for cutting out my tag labels. On the back of those I always put a, a label to say that it's soap and the name of it and everything, but I'm going to show you that in a second. The other thing is lots of people have commented on my nail varnish, so I'm going to show you exactly how I get it like that. Mr. Now, I bought this bourgeois um, nail varnish. It's a very, very clear crystal pink, and the colour is called... Well, that's fantastic because I can't find a colour. But it's got the number 18 on it. Uh, it's one coat, dries in, fi dries in 15, 50 seconds. And it's got innovation on the front. I don't know if that is the name of the colour. It has got glitter in it, but not enough. So I'll just show you what I've done to get so much glitter on there. And I have just, I hope you can see... I've just put one coat of nail varnish and if any of you were making soap or even if you're not making soap you can go off and buy some cosmetic glitter and I've got my pot of cosmetic glitter in a pepper pot and then I literally just sprinkle some of the glitter on like that and blow off the excess then I let it dry and then I put a top coat on it that's it dead dead simple but obviously I can't show you me putting the top coat on um, I'm not the tidiest person in the world but I'm absolutely crazy for cleaning things and I don't like to use dishcloths oh, because I think they um, gather germs. So dishcloths, um, tea towels, anything like that gets used for one day and then it's straight in the, in the washing machine. But I use tons and tons of wet wipes for cleaning. Anyway, that's just a silly little tidbit for you. So, I have a, a few different sizes in my labels. This is, well, I have an even bigger one, don't I? So, this is my biggest, I think. Yeah, that's my biggest. Um, if I'm doing a big order and I need to write a lot on the back of the card, I use the big one. Um, and I keep the back clear so I can write any messages that I want. And then the next size down is this size. These tend to go in most boxes if I just want to thank someone for placing their order. And as you can see, I've done them. Then we have the next size down. And these are my product labels. So every cold process soap and cupcake or cake slice gets wrapped in clear cellophane and these are the ones that I always put on my products and I was just measuring them this morning because Sharon from Platypus Dreams has been very 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 helpful to me she's actually had a look around to see if she can get there's a punch available to punch out this shape. But anyway, there, they, there aren't any. Uh, so I'm going to have to get a die cut made. But um, these are 8 so centimetres by 4.5 centimetres. Now, what I do, because I don't just like um, a label on flimsy paper like this, I always, I know it's more work, but it just looks so much better to have a thicker 
tag than a thin piece of paper. So I double side sticky tape and then I stick it onto a 120 gram card. Then I cut them out like this. But as you can see, it looks awful if I was just going to put that onto a soap. So I'm such a ridiculous perfectionist that I've got to cut right round this horrendous shape. But it does look awesome when it's done. But there might, there might come a day where I literally physically cannot find the time to make these labels so I'm in the process of looking at some other way to either speed my process up or get them made but I'm thinking they could cost um, 50p a piece which is ridiculous you can't be putting 50p labels on a soap it's crazy that means for every two soaps you do you throw in a pound down the drain um, but I'd love to get these done professionally in, in all the different colours that I have and then you'll also see that I have an even smaller one which is the one that goes on all my glycerin soaps melt and pour and they also go on my pots of shea butter. Um, well, anything that's in a pot, they go on. But it's really, you know, it's finding the time to actually even look. Um, I guess it's the same with all the ideas. I try to come up with myself because I haven't got time to sit and trawl and trawl through images of other people's soaps looking for ideas. Um, but it's surprising where you gather your inspiration from. Um, I saw something the other day. It, it can be anything. It can be a cake. I can see a cake somewhere. Or, and think oh that would make a cool soap cake one was called chocolate lumpy bumpy cake and it had like a biscuit base and it had blobs of cheesecake in it and then it had like a chocolate sauce poured all over the top of it and I thought oh that would look really cool as a soap cake other times you can see a colour co co combination in something. It can be the colour of shops painted or just anything. Even a product in the supermarket could make me think, wow, hey, I bet a soap would look good in, in those colours. It's probing all her remains. It might have been buried. It's probing her remains. So you can see it is a bit of a, what I call a frig on doing this, but it just does not look anywhere near as good if it's not cut out like this. So I see you're into the cold weather in Australia. If you're in England, it's rather muggy and warm and sticky and horrible. That's the trouble here. When it's hot, we tend not to get the sun. It's because it soaks so much water up from the ground and the lakes, especially where we are. Um, this is the wettest part of the country, I think. Um, it, it'll tend to be grey and dull if it's hot because the skies full of clouds I tell you what I would absolutely love to know from all of you is are you going anywhere on holiday this year um, I'd love to know where you're going have you been before where did you have your favorite holiday ever that would be interesting and the other thing I wanted to tell you is I have closed the competition, the one 
where I was given away about £70 worth of stock. Um, but there are so many great ideas. I mean, every single one was a good idea. But I really want to think about this um, as to the winner. Um, a lot of people have said to use ideas where people have to look through the videos or the website. And I think that's actually brilliant. Um, it means that those people who do watch all the time, I'm not saying that this this is going to win anyone with an idea like that because I might see something else I love. Um, but I do, I, I would like someone to win that has supported me um, right from the start. Um, so I am still just going through all of them. There are so many and I'm writing down the, the ideas that I really like. But I hope to have a winner by the end of this week. Um, well, we'll say by Friday. I'll, I'll announce a winner on Friday. May I publish, Your Honour? The Actually, the other thing I need to remember is um, all the people that... Um, won a piece of the uh, Soap Invader cake as well. I'm, I must remember to post those out. I have forgotten up to now. But they're coming. Mm, that's one thing about me. I'd never not send those prizes out. Yeah, please yes, sir. And anyone and that's won a competition with me before, you can go and check Mr. with them. Oh, They'll all vouch that they have Did received their prizes, day? even if they yes, didn't do a video. Did you report to George and Sidney Anthony what you found or didn't find there? Uh, no, sir, not at the time. And I'd like to show you another map. So, this will be the last one for now, for the video. I'm still going to continue. I'm just waiting for some lye uh, to cool down. Ready to make my next batch of soap. The location where the abandoned house, is that accurately picked where the abandoned house was? Yeah, yeah there's a pond right there behind it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> So there you go, that's my um, product labels. Um, I'm terrible for squeaking when I'm talking, Anna. Someone said I sound like I'm singing when I talk. Right, yeah, I was going to try and find the sticker that I put on the back of it, but I know it's away over in a box and I can't reach it. Right then, I will see you next time. Bye bye for now.